Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have an assistant and he's going to help me record this, hopefully without dropping my camera. And uh, the reason I need an assistant is because we're going to do a power supply check. Now this is the power supply that came out of my slot machine. Yeah. So what we have here is we have a transformer with multiple taps and we have two different power conduits. So we have one over here and this is where the AC power comes in and then the power is going to come all the way down here to this on off switch. It's going to go out probably to the interlock and then it's going to come back in. So this switch technically is being bypassed. I'm bypassing it by connecting directly to the primaries of the transformer and here we go. They're connected here with some gator clips I'm hiding it underneath a piece of silicone. And here I have an adjustable transformer so that it should be hopefully an isolated transformer so it's safer for me, but it's also got a rheostat so I can adjust the amount of power. Now I'm gonna go full power 120 volts because that's actually what it asked for. The Japanese are sitting around 100, 110 volts if I remember correctly. And the primaries on the transformer are indicated zero and 100 volts. So, uh, I'm going to turn my transformer down just a little bit, just a little, even though we're at 120 volts, just because. So, uh, some interesting things about this guy right here is it's off, so it's okay. We have AC power that comes in on the back side. It goes all the way out here through the rest to the machine, and then it comes back in on a couple pins, and when you flick this guy on, then it activates the DC and now we have DC. Now how do you get DC? Well right here I have three different sets of bridge rectifiers. Okay so we got three full wave bridge rectifiers right here, right here, and right here and luckily the contacts are inverted so I can put my meter leads right on them we can measure my DC rails. Now I have three at least three different DC rails. Now why do I have three different DCs? Old school electronics. They don't they don't do really well with voltage regulators on PCBs. So instead, what they do is they voltage regulate off a transformer on multiple taps, and those taps all run to a power supply, which is what we have here. So I've got multiple taps here. I've got a 10 volt tap. I got a 24 volt tap, and I, I believe I got a 36 volt AC tap. So that's what's coming into this board. And each one of those, um, the 10, the 24 volt, and the 36 volt AC are going to these bridge rectifiers. And that is how I get my different levels of DC. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to power this guy up. And we're going to test. Right here's my meter. And we're going to see what do we have on DC to make sure that this guy is okay. Because remember, uh, my, my guy over there, it's not... It's turning on some of its lights, but those are all incandescent lights, so they're all running off of AC power. So the computer is what I'm not verifying if it's turned on, and it runs off DC. So we got to check our DC rails to make sure that we have DC. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're currently off. Not that it matters because, like I said, the voltage comes in, goes out this connector to the machine through the interlock, and then it comes back to here. When you flick this guy on, that's when it activates that. I'm bypassing it okay so it's gonna be bypassed through these that's what's gonna happen right now okay ready we're gonna go live now see the little flash no currently this guy here does absolutely nothing so what we're gonna do on these full wave, full wave bridge rectifiers there's two terminals which are uh, DC and there's two terminals which are AC so what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch the DC Look at that. I've got 40 volts DC. You see it? Right here. Ready? There we go. Got 40 volts DC. Now let's go ahead and let's go to the next one. 
at 16 volts DC. All right, I don't know if those are within tolerance, but good enough. And this one here, I got 31 volts DC. So I currently have three different DC uh, power rails. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. So on these pins, whichever pins they are, should be my DC rails to turn the machine on. And from all I can see, that is accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this guy, make it safe. Now, if you guys are ever testing power supplies, you should be aware that these large capacitors right here are on your high voltage DC rails. Just be aware, these guys hold some power, all right? So don't go touching things. And another thing is notice how I didn't touch the metal. A lot of these older power supplies, they'll have live mains sometimes on things like heat sinks. So don't touch heat sinks and stuff if you don't have to. This one here is probably safe, but and definitely don't touch the contacts back here on the back of these large um, capacitors. So I've got three uh, resettable uh, circuit breakers here. I got eight amp, three amp, and five amp. And I've got a little, uh, what is this, a little choke, a power filter. <clears throat> and, you know, uh, just by the looks of it, I should have all my DC rails. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna reassemble this guy, we're gonna put it back in, and then we're gonna start checking wiring harnesses for my DC because uh, my computer's not turned on. So next would be to probably check the computer all the uh, terminals on the bottom of the, the PCB and from there um, maybe the computer itself we're gonna we're gonna recap the board several of the capacitors are bad so I'll do a whole nother video where I open up the computer take a look inside we'll break those magical little seals the seals that are from the Japanese government that, that specify its payout rate we're gonna open those seals maybe pull some chips out make sure that they're okay there was some residual um, moisture that was on the terminals, kind of confusing. So we're going to check that out, check out the capacitors in a future video. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.